The Philadelphia Eagles select Zach Ertz, tight end, Stanford. Tears of joy. The weight of 34 people going before me didn't matter at that point by any means. I was just thrilled. I tried to break up with him um, because I wanted to obviously protect my heart. What did you say to her? I was like, no, nah, that's not happening. Let's give this a try. Let's see where it goes. She was kind of the first person that was able to break down the walls and kind of allow me to be myself. And that was something that I didn't want to lose. Making kind of a collective decision with both my heart and my mind. We just kind of talked about everything and clearly communication works. <laughs> Zach left for Philadelphia while Julie remained in school at Santa Clara. Then, in January 2014, it was her turn to get drafted. She was selected third overall in the National Women's Soccer League draft by Chicago. So exciting just to know that um, I'll be a part and can call myself a pro uh, professional athlete is, is still a little bit crazy. I loved how dedicated she was to her sport too. I really respected um, what she was trying to do as an athlete. Soon, there was an even bigger opportunity to play for the U.S. national team. Go! Go! I remember the first time passing the ball with everyone and I was so excited to be there. I knew that there absolutely wasn't anything else that I wanted to do. As the U.S. national team entered the 2015 World Cup in Canada, Julie was named a starting center back. Winning is always the expectation of the U.S. women's national team, full stop. Johnston into the box, Lloyd, the header, Lloyd scores, yes, Lloyd! With Julie playing at the top of her game, the U.S. was unbeaten through its first five games, allowing only one goal advancing to the semifinals. Number one ranked Germany versus number two ranked the United States. The match remained scoreless into the second half. Then, in the 58th minute. Johnson had a look over the shoulder. That's a tough one. Could pass solo toward goal, but what? And now the referees come over. And a penalty. I still, like, won't watch the play, to be honest. Julie Johnston, she has played such an amazing tournament. This is her first major mistake. That was horrible. I felt like the bad guy. Sausage shot. She missed. She had tears coming down her eyes, and I remember just basically screaming at her, you get your head in the game, Julia, because we needed her. Lloyd walks up, shoots, scores, U.S. Leeds. The U.S. went on to beat Germany 2-0. I kept reassuring her, you won the game, you can't let these plays dictate your future performances. Five days later, Zach was in the stands to support Julie in the final. The U.S. wins the 2015 Women's World Cup. And I was just so happy for her. That was just fun to go up there and be a fan. Julie wasn't the only one who was celebrating. In January 2016, the Eagles signed Zach to a five-year, $42.5 million contract extension. One month later, he made his first big purchase. I wanted it to be sentimental. We came back before we first met. He was like, hey, let's go over to the seats, like where we sat for the first time we met. And I go, OK. Then we walk over to the spot, and then I get on a knee. By the time I turn around, he's like on one knee and then proposing. She did the little uh, cover her mouth thing. And I was like, is that a yes? And she just shakes her head. 
13 months later... To my wife, I write to you today as the happiest man of the face of the earth. And I cannot wait to say I do. What was the wedding day like? Perfect. <laughs> you can now kiss your bride. That was amazing. Joy from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed. And from that day on, they would be the Ertzes. But they were still professional athletes, living hundreds of miles apart. How much time do you get to spend together? Not much. We probably see each other sometimes as little as five days in a month, if I'm being generous. I would love to see my husband every single day. There's times and moments that you would love to be able to share that our schedules just don't really allow it. For instance, in January 2018, as Zach was lining up against the Falcons in the playoffs, 3,000 miles away, Julie was finishing training camp in California. Ryan is throwing it up in the air. One week later, Julie and the national team faced Denmark. At the same time, Zach and the Eagles faced the Vikings for the NFC title. For the first time in 13 years, the Eagles are headed for the Super Bowl. As the whistle blew in California, the news from Philly had arrived. Oh, man. It's uh, emotional for me. Um, I wish she was here, obviously. Um, tough not having her here, but I can't wait for her to get home and celebrate with her. But there was still one more game. And Julie wasn't going to miss it. I'm just so excited to share this moment. And um, I'm proud of you, babe. I was so excited. And then the thought process that I knew that I actually could go is even cooler. To the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Hogan. He is going deep. And it is caught by Alshon Jeffrey for a touchdown. Brady lost one for Gronkowski. Reaching for it. Touchdown. They look unstoppable right now. With five minutes left in the fourth quarter, the Eagles trailed by one. I was, like, super nervous. It's fourth and one, and they go for it. And falls under pressure. Throws caught. Just enough for the first down. Zach Ertz. When they needed it most, he hangs on. And a few minutes later. I kind of like looked over to my brothers. I was like, I don't want, I, I'm sure they see the same exact thing. Zach 101, right before that play, my brother had his video camera out. And I was like, I almost told him, I was like, don't take a video. Like, you're going to jinx it. jumped so high and did not stop screaming. And finally. Brady, he's hit, he stumbles, he is throwing it deep for the end zone. to see him winning the Super Bowl. I 
just had a front row seat watching him be able to set goals and all of his hard work and his growth as just a person, as a husband, everything. It's fair to say that Zach and Julie's first love was not each other. It was sports. Sports shaped them, introduced them, and bonded them. But now, they found a greater love. Is that good? Yeah, that was a great answer. Thanks. I'm sweating. That's OK. I love you. We just have so much fun all the time. His humor is like perfect for mine and just I'll laugh all day. We don't care about each other really as athletes. I want her to succeed. She wants me to succeed because that's what we love doing. But we just love each other for the people that we are. And I think that's what allows this to work.